Are you somebody who likes to change things up a bit? Who likes to try something new? Who maybe, I don't know, likes feet a little bit? I won't tell anybody, you fucking <gasps> dirty bit. Well then, how about you try out a game about giant mechs, beautiful art, and sci-fi? This is The Gist, a series where I give you a quick review of the game and let you know what it's got going for it. Today, we're going to be talking about a game that it appears uh, nobody has played. And that's 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. <gasps> 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim kinda sounds like gibberish at first, but just like the game, it starts to make sense pretty quickly. This game is a visual novel that stars 13 protagonists. Yeah, this cast is huge, so you would think that this game would be kind of a mess, but like, nah, not really. Before I get ahead of myself, let me explain what a visual novel even is for you <gasps> normies. For those who don't know, a visual novel is essentially a story-centered experience, often fused with other pace-changing components. So, the visual novel entitled Danganronpa is story-centered, but has deductive court case segments, 999 is also story-centered, but has puzzle-solving mechanics, and Ace Attorney is story-centered and has uh, a deck of cards practicing the law or something? I don't know. So while 13 Sentinels is story-centered like other visual novels, a large differentiating component that it has are the mech battles. Yeah, this game has fucking <gasps> mech battles. Battles are really different though, but they're good. They're kind of like an ATB turn-based battle system. They're very unique and offer what a normal RPG would, such as level ups and customization. But like I said before, this game isn't a normal RPG, and that primarily has to do with its storytelling and its perspective-changing nature. The game begins with you playing the prologues of different characters until it gives you control to decide whose story you want to continue viewing. This aspect is kind of like Sonic Adventures, except, you know, lacking a fat-ass cat who fishes up frogs. Come here, Froggy. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, son of a bitch. You view character stories in chunks, and the game has a timeline to show you what you need to have in order to achieve other routes. Considering the perspective shifts, you'd expect the story to, uh, to well, be a cluster. <gasps> but it's actually incredibly well told. Each character's story interweaves with others in interesting and clever ways. And when you're given the ability to choose who you want to play as, the storytelling becomes even more impressive, as they can no longer strictly guide what you see and when, and yet the game still feels paced pretty perfectly. Now, it's not entirely true that they don't guide you at all. There are stopgaps to stories that require you to play other characters, as well as participate in battles, but it's not super frequent that it becomes a nuisance. The game also slowly unlocks other characters so as to not overwhelm the player with a ton of different perspectives all at once. It's clever, and if there was one word for this game, that would be it. Clever. The substance of the story itself is an in-depth sci-fi tale, and honestly that's kind of all I want to say about the story. Because this game is primarily that, it's story. I don't want to ruin any of the surprise, and trust me, there are a lot of them. What I will say is that this game uses a ridiculous amount of sci-fi concepts and does so in ways I haven't seen before. Which is saying a lot, because I watch a lot of sci-fi. You know, like Star Trek, <laughs> where all my Trekkies at. You know, they say it's Star Trek. Uh, be a laser me later, Marty. <laughs> you know, you, you know the thing. Now, because this story is as complex as it is, there's a helpful timeline that the game offers where you can rewatch cutscenes if you forget anything. There's also a handy codex where you can buy entries to learn more about important characters, events, and terms. So while I definitely think this game's story is complex, I do think that the game provides you with enough to be able to understand it fully if you really want to make use of all that the game offers. But take my word for it, the game's plot is told really, really well. And I have no complaints in that department. And I think that for anybody that likes a good story, you'll get a hell of a lot out of this game. It's probably obvious at this point, but the game looks just gorgeous. Like it's really incredible what the team at Vanillaware is able to accomplish. I hadn't played any of their previous titles because the gameplay didn't look super up my alley, but based on the aesthetic alone, I think I may have to try them out. It really feels like a manga come to life with its 2D characters and environments and every location has a certain elegance to it. I'd say that that's probably due to the game's lighting effects, which really accentuate every single scene. It's such a stylized take, and it further adds to the uniqueness of this game. And I think this is the perfect design, as it really pushes the narrative-driven nature of the game forward. Now, if I had to critique anything about this game, it would be that especially in the beginning hours, some of the characters can feel a bit one note and bland. Now, it becomes clear that this is a bit intentional at least, but even when some of these characters do begin to get some layers, some are still 
pretty boring and kind of tropey. This may be the actual issue with 13 characters, but it makes some of them feel a bit generic, again, especially in the starting hours. The plot writing is really where this title shines, and I'd really wish I could say the same for the characters. It's not to say that I think that they're terrible or anything, but it is to say that the nature of the plot being written so well makes the okay character writing look worse in comparison. So I just believe that their character writing needed to be a bit stronger than it was. I will say though that the cast is incredibly diverse. I really can't stress how much I think variety is key in JRPG casts nowadays, and I'm really glad to say that this game definitely has that. These characters are also- <gasps> oh, oh my god, wait! Oh, 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 oh. These characters are also fun and diverse in battle. After the prologue, the battles in the game are pushed into a separate menu where you can play them at your leisure or when a stopgap shows up. In battle, you get to control six characters while the others exist on a backline to essentially provide defense to a control point. The battles mostly consist of protecting this control point, with the win condition being either wiping out all the enemies or everyone surviving until the time is up, while losing means someone dies or the control point is destroyed. It's a fairly simple concept, but the fun is in the strategies you can create in order to tackle these enemies. Some characters are more melee centered and thus need to be close to enemies, while others are ranged and can deal with flying opponents. Some are also more supportive, where they raise the defense of allies or set up turrets and the like. There's definitely a lot of mixing and matching that can be done here. It's not overly complex, but there's still some definite difficulty too. From all that I've said throughout this video, it should be clear that this game is really unique. So unique that I think a lot of RPG fans are just gonna pass it up. The only traditional things about it are its leveling system, but because the battles aren't the center of attention, I can see a lot of people just not paying attention to it. But trust me, this game is worth your time and your money. I mean, it's super cheap right now. I really do think that it has a breakout plot with some fantastic and unique takes on sci-fi conventions. So just don't write this game off so quickly. And I think you'll really enjoy your time. So that's 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments if you're gonna try it out. Uh, are we just gonna ignore the fact that the, the room changed? Yeah, the room must have regenerated from all the chaos. You know, it was kind of terrible to be trapped in a closet for months where there was no food or water or anything except mysteriously a game console and a mic, but I just wanted to say thank you for saving my life. <laughs> Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. And this is gonna sound kind of weird, but uh, I can't believe I haven't asked. What's your name? Oh, uh, uh my name. Uh, What's your name? My name is, um, uh, uh, my name is. <gasps> oh my god, my new lore work! Oh my god, I got him! <laughs> Laser me later, Marty! <laughs>